welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i am on this construction site will guide you for steel reinforcement details and also for some basic informations related on this construction site if you have any question related this short video so you can comments i will respond you let's get start guys if you see guys look at here the labor is working and they are providing oil on the surface of this shuttering because this is one of the technical terms and very important to know about this why they are cleaning this shuttering because before starting steel reinforcement they should clean the surface of the farm work or shuttering then they will place the steel reinforcement that's why because when they place the steel reinforcement then they are not able to remove the if there is some particles on the top of the uh, shuttering so they are not able to remove this so therefore before placing of steel reinforcement the oil should be placed on the top of the shuttering they should clean the surface same like this as you uh, as you can see in this video so this is in progress and before cleaning of farm work with the help of oil they should use the plastic tape to cover the joints in the shuttering guys you can see the yellow tape you can see they already placed because when they used the oil then they are not able to place the plastic tape to cover the gaps of the shuttering so therefore it should be placed before cleaning of farm work with the help of oil so this is one of the technical term look at here guys they already did that's why because this is important to provide on the gap between each shuttering or ply it should not be open next guys you can see here inside the floor beam farm work should be also clean as you can see this farm work this construction site covered area is for rcc slab which is more than 8000 square feet next guys you can see the steel reinforcement for the floor beam after completion of floor beam they will start steel reinforcement placing in rcc slab when they complete its, its construction they will down these mesh inside the farm work guys you can see depth of the beam is 18 inches width is 12 inches this is designed for five story commercial building we have four steel rods at the bottom two at the top size of the column is 18 by 18 inches we have three sizes of column for each column guys you can see here we have 12 by 12 column 15 by 15 18 by 15, 18 by 18 and also the other one is 21 by 21 inches because it's depend on the structure load of this building they used here four steel rods at the bottom dia is 16 millimeter and two steel rods in upper portion same dia they used here also we have extra steel rods at the distance of l by four guys you can see some gaps are open they will place the plastering tape on the top of this to cover it by plastering tape next guys you can see here that is chajja it's also in progress the other labor is working to cover the joints with the help of plastering tape before providing the plastering tape the place should be clean if there is any dust or any sand on the top of this guys you can see this is the proper method to paste the plastering tape after covering off these joints they will provide the oil on the surface of this to make it soft and clean look at here guys so these are important technical terms on this construction site and you should remember these things which i am telling you if you are not on the construction site so same method you can see in my practical videos look at here guys
this is chajja which width is 3 feet sorry the chajja width is 4.5 feet these technical terms are very important if you are working on construction site before placing of steel reinforcement in rcc slab in floor beam the farm work should be clean same like this as you can see the shutting should be clean because after placing of steel reinforcement they are not able to do this so therefore it should be do before starting steel reinforcement of slab or beam hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye